Hello friends, my name is Dr. Puru Dhawan and in this video we will learn how we can increase GFR in a kidney failure patient because decreasing level of GFR is a matter of great concern to kidney failure patient. And if a patient of kidney failure wants to increase the level of GFR, first patient has to understand how the value of GFR is derived. Now there is a calculator on your screen in which we have to enter few fields. First is your kidney level, second is your age. When we enter the, your kidney level in your blood and your age and when we press calculate, it gives you the value of GFR. So basically what we see over here is that the level of GFR is a derivative of your ketonin. So if the level of ketonin increases, the value of the GFR decreases because they are inversely proportionate. So if we want to increase the GFR, we have to decrease the level of ketonin in your blood. So when we calculate again with the decreased level of ketonin, the value of GFR increases. So now you have to understand what is ketonin. Ketonin is a base metal which is produced by your muscle during muscle metabolism. In a normal person, what happens when the muscles create ketonin, kidney excrete this extra amount of ketonin out of the body and the level of the ketonin remains in the normal range. But when the function of the kidney is affected because of some kind of underlying disease like hypertension, diabetes, what happens? This excretion of the ketonin goes low and the level of the ketonin accumulated in the blood goes high and as they go up, ketonin level of ketonin goes up, the level of GFR goes down. So basically what we have to do in a kidney failure patient to increase the GFR, we have to decrease the level of ketonin. Now we can control the level of ketonin in a body by two ways, either by diet or by excreting ketonin more from the body through kidney. We will discuss both the way in this video. As we know, ketonin is a protein, it's a waste material produced by your muscles. So if a patient of kidney failure takes lots of amount of protein, what will happen? This extra amount of protein will convert it into ketonin during muscle metabolism. So we don't want a, this kind of extra ketonin production in our body. So we will cut down the amount of protein intake. We have to cut down all kind of protein like chicken, fish, egg pulses so that the amount of the ketonin can be easily controlled. Now there is few external factors which also affects the production of the ketonin like if the person of kidney failure do lots of exercise what will happen because of increased metabolism of the muscles the production of the ketonin will increase so we have to cut down all kind of physical workouts. Second, if the patient suffer from any kind of fever or chill, what will happen because of shivering, because of fever, there will be extra production of the ketonin. Now if the patient of kidney failure avoids protein in diet and avoids exercise, avoid cold weather, fever, what will happen? The amount of ketonin production can be easily controlled in a kidney failure patient. Now there is another way that can control your ketonin production in your body and that is your kidney. Kidney is an organ which excretes all the ketonin from the body. So if we increase the functioning of the kidney, what will happen? The level of ketonin will go down. Now try to understand kidney. Unlike liver, kidney can't be regenerated, but kidney has special power to increase its function. I will give you an example. Suppose a person has donated a kidney to another person. Now the person who has donated the kidney have only one kidney. Even having the single kidney, the level of ketonin urea doesn't increase, the level of GFR remain in the normal range. Why is it happening? Ask the question yourself. This happens because kidney has special properties to increase its function. We have to use this property of the kidney in all kidney failure patient to increase the function of the kidney. Now the question arises how we can increase the kidney function so that the level of ketonin and urea can be brought down and the level of GFR can be increased. This can be done with the help of herbal supplements because as we know western medicine don't have any kind of medicine which can increase the kidney function. Even if you take out your prescription whatever medicine you are taking as such each and every medicine on Google, you won't find any single medicine that works on kidney directly. These medicines which are prescribed by western medicines will contain the medicine for your BP, sugar, your erythropoietin injection, calcium supplements, vitamin D, but you won't find any single medicine which can increase your kidney function because no such medicine has been developed yet. But with the help of herbs, with the help of Ayurveda, we can increase the kidney function very easily because they are much more developed in this field. Now I'm very sure there is a question in your mind. How herbal medicines, herbal supplement can increase your kidney function? When the patient of kidney failure start taking herbal supplement, what will happen in the body is that there is two kind of damage in the kidney. First is there is complete damage, complete dead tissue. There is another part of the kidney which is alive but non-functional. So when the medicine herbal supplement goes into the body, 
the non functional alive part gets into the action and it starts filtering as this part of the kidney starts working what will happen the function of the kidney increases and the level of gfr also increases and the level of creatinine decreases which can be easily seen within a span of one month all you have to do is that you have to perform one kft test to check the level of creatinine before the starting of the supplement and after one month we will do the kft test again and we will compare the both the reports and you can easily see decreased level of creatinine in this two reports now i will show you few reports in which you can easily compare how the level of creatinine decreases within a short period of time now with the help of this report we can say the level of creatinine can be easily brought down now if your doctor says that the level of creatinine can't be brought down you have to go for dialysis you have to go for transplant that doctor is incorrect if you want to survive without transplant without dialysis you have to work on your kidney because the kidney is an organ which can only help you once you start taking care of your kidney kidney will take care of you so we have to work on the kidney we have to increase the kidney function as the function of the kidney increases creatinine decreases and the gfr increases with comparison of these two reports we can easily say that creatinine can be brought down and your gfr can be easily increased now if you have any kind of question inquiry regarding how we can increase gfr in any kidney failure patient you can simply call on the number given below you can also book an appointment with me on the same number with this allow me to say goodbye see you in the next video till then namaskar